Hey, it's Filet. You're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinematographer, just a dude with a camera and a dude with a new haircut. So anyways, I, you know, I love maple trees and I was at my local, um, you know, independent garden shop down the street and I came across this great, you know, like six and a half foot tall Japanese maple that was, you know, growing on this huge stick, stopping all the branches from growing on one side. And it's got a bunch of damage down here on the bottom of the plant. But overall, you know, it's a nice, tall, sturdy, very old tree. It's even got some, you know, it's got some seed growing on it, which I'm really excited about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to air layer it. Or not air layer it. I'm actually going to put a tourniquet around the base. And then I'm going to plant it deep in the ground and allow the bottom to root for a few months and then cut, you know, the other remaining piece off. The damage on it kind of looks like, a, you know, whatever but you know there's a little piece of that cambium that was making it through so it's been surviving all this time but i know it's going to do a lot better once we get some new roots on it so stay tuned i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you can and you can find me on instagram at filet tv channel thanks for watching it's kind of cool it's already got seeds on it that's almost like killing two birds with one stone anyway so look at this you can see that this was rubbing against the fence there behind the the other trees in the nursery. And you could tell it's been sitting here for a long time. This thing measures like six and a half feet. But for some reason it's got this giant wound. First I thought it was you know, a graft, but, you know, there was a taper, you know, that was growing out of there, not a taper, but a leader that was growing out of there, and I cut off. It was really thick, but this is... As you can see, this lower branch matches, you know, the same leaves on the upper branch, so the clone is definitely out of the question, so I think this thing was just damaged somehow. The regular old Japanese maple it has been sitting for years. behind a bunch of other trees at this local nursery. So I got it now, so I'm pretty stoked. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna trim all these little dead ones off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a tourniquet around here and create, you know, stoppage here. And then I'm gonna plant the soil to at least here into a bigger pot. It can be fun. So I don't know, this kind of trips me out. This had a branch coming off of it. Same exact leaves. It's on the rest of the tree. It almost looks like it was a graft, but then it's not a graft because you can see that's all one section all the way down. And I mean, why would you graft from Japanese, green Japanese maple to a green Japanese maple? But as you can see that the bark is damaged almost all the way around except for this little portion here. And the tree itself, you know, it's pretty strong. But considering it was packed in with a bunch of other trees. So, like I said, my idea is to either put a tourniquet here or a good strong cut mark or even just finish the cut here. And then I'm going to bury it in soil with some sphagnum moss around here and then bury it in soil. And then give it a few months, see what happens. So up top, we've got seeds going on already. That's so great. But you can see that this thing needs to be topped. And you can see the way the bark is worn. Or was rubbing against the fence. And it had this big beefy pole sitting right against this side of it, so none of the branches grew on this side. 
So that's why I've kind of got it dangling now. I'm going to support it with two poles and a cord and try and let it branch out. That's a trip. It's seven, good, almost seven feet long. Tall, I should say. All right, what I've decided to do is just cut a groove in it, as you can see, all the way around, and get down to the cambium later. What I've noticed every time I've been unsuccessful is because I have not cut enough off or I've left a little tiny chunk here. Now, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this because I'm sitting in the shade because it's so dark, I mean, so bright out. But if you look, that is the trunk right there and that is the bark. Okay, and you could see that it just barely had any connection, you know, with the bark, the cambium layer, the whole deal. I mean, it's just literally that is the only bridge right in here that it had, which is crazy because you could see it's trunk all the way around and just a little bit. So if that tiny little bit right in there is enough to make this tree still grow to seven feet. I think it's pretty spectacular. So the idea is, I think a lot of these bumps are gonna turn into roots. So I'm gonna put some root compound on here and I'm gonna bury it at least this deep in the dirt and try and start a whole new root ball from there. So it's gonna take a few months, but that's a start. So today is June 26th. I remember it well, it's my brother Paul's birthday. Happy birthday, Paul. And we're gonna get this thing into the pot, I guess, which is the next step. All right, here we go. It's all potted up, a nice high soil level. I've got two stakes in it, trying to keep it straight. And there you have it. I'm just going to push it over to the side and just keep an eye on it. Maybe uh, you know, train a couple of branches to come down. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there you go. Hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave your comments on the bottom. And don't forget to find me on Instagram at Filet TV channel. Thanks for watching.